y'all knew this video was coming. Before anime and manga, graffiti was my favorite art style. Was my first favorite art style. Y'all knew this video was coming. But before we get into the video, I just got something that I gotta get off my chest real quick. And, and I'd appreciate it if you guys would spread the word for me as well. Cause what I'm about to say is for y'all. You know, I don't want to see y'all out here looking goofy. I don't want y'all out here, somebody out here cramping your style. I'm here for y'all. Want to make sure y'all look good. So just, just keep that in mind when I, when I say this. Stop wearing this shirt in public. Don't act surprised. We all know somebody that tried to bust this bad boy out on the weekend mall run, or tried to walk around flexing it at the school lunch table. Hell, you might even own this shirt yourself, and that's how I. Eat. As long as you're not wearing it in public. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the shirt, but there is something wrong with three people wearing it in the same location, and they obviously don't know each other. And I'm speaking from experience. I seen three motherfuckers at work wearing the same damn shirt. Even saw somebody wearing it at the speedway on my way home. Like, damn, we can't all be shopping at the same hot topic. For fuck's sake, I go to Google and type in Naruto t-shirt that everybody wears and go to images and it's the first result I see. I thought this was opinion based. Nah, cause these is facts. But that's all I had to say on this matter. I'm gonna get into the video, but look. I'm just trying to save your reputation. Keep this shirt for your jammies, all right? Please. Keep it for your jam jams. All right. Let's get into it. All right. So, some of you guys might be saying, Mugen, you a manga ka? You make manga, my guy. What are you doing whipping up some graffiti? Th this ain't the usual. And I understand where you're coming from. You right. You right. But here's the thing, though. With graffiti being my first favorite art style, I just had to incorporate it into my manga as well. And look, look, I'm gonna let y'all in on a little bounty secret, all right, between you and me. People that don't watch this video ain't gonna know. Keep it secret, all right, get ready. The main character, Shinoda, you listening? He does graffiti. That's his hobby. That's what he does. And I also wanted that to be an aesthetic theme within my manga. So the two of those go hand in hand together nicely. So therefore, I gotta get my graffiti art skills up too. Y'all don't wanna be seeing these crispy anime scenes, then in the background you got some boo boo graffiti art. I'm giving it 110% all the way, all features, no holds barred, y'all know me. And though it's not gonna be on the level of that crazy, super poppy graffiti you see on Google Images, I'm still gonna make it look dope with my own style added to it, trust. And if down the road that's what I decide to turn it into, the crazy, intricate graffiti, then so be it. But for now, this is what it's gonna be. And honestly, I'll admit that this is a warm-up piece. What you seeing me draw right here is a warm-up piece. It's been far too long since I've sat down and made an actual piece. Like, over six months now. So my skills in this area are not fully there yet. I'm still knocking off the rust, but don't judge me too hard. Don't go too crazy in the comments. I feel like it turned out pretty decent, but... Y'all know me, there's still room to improve. It wouldn't be a moving video if I didn't say that shit. It's true though, damn. Thinking of improvement though, I've got an idea I wanna execute that's centered around graffiti. I guess you'd call it a program or movement, I guess. I don't know, but the message it's gonna portray is graffiti is art. And this is something I plan on doing by basically going out into the public and spreading awareness about how beautiful this form of art can be. Get ready for those videos as well. I'm proud of myself for coming up with this idea. It's a way to spread a positive message about something I love and get my name out there in my own community as well. I, 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 I'ma stop right here. Cause I fucked it up. Spoiler alert, I'ma show the finished piece here, but it's the version I ruined, so uh, here it is. Yep. Suck us. It wasn't until I was done that I realized I spelled the word wrong. I was punching the air, bro, fist flying everywhere. I was so mad, I just went to sleep. Honestly, almost gave up on it, but I couldn't let that mentality take over. I'm an artist. This is what I do. Mistakes are gonna occur. And I just can't let that be the reason I don't achieve what it is I'm striving for. So 
I stepped away for a little bit, meditated on what I could do to fix it, came back, and did as the great Bruce Lee once said. I had to be, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Now that's more like it. Yeah, you know, it's kind of ironic that a mistake like this would happen while creating this piece given the word of success. Just reminds me that achieving success isn't always gonna be easy. Things aren't always gonna be in your favor. As Logic once said, even the road to success is prone to collision. But that don't mean we can't bounce back from it. Nah, I'm rambling again. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Any graffiti artists watching the video got any tips for your boy, please be sure to leave it down in the comments down below. I'd be glad to read them. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my content. We're on the road to 100 subs, and I think it's possible trying to reach it by the end of June. So go ahead, hit that subscribe, help me reach my goal. But hey, until next time, master your heart, body, and mind, because the master is absolute. See you.